Now, the Nigerian Super Eagles uh, uh, today beat South African Bafana Bafana 4-2 in penalties to reach the African Cup of Nations uh, finals. The Super Eagles secured a penalty after African Player of the Year Victor Osime was brought down in the box by Mothobi Vala uh, of South Africa at the State de la Paz in Boake in Ivory Coast. Nigeria led 1-0 in the 67th minute when Captain William Trust Ekong converted a low-driven penalty into the middle of the net, uh, fooling Ronwan Williams in goal. A.B. Yomo and Aaron Akirjola joins us now for the rest of the action. Uh, A.B. and Aaron, uh, good to see you both. Uh, it's a moment uh, to behold here in Nigeria, across the continent and in Boaki. Let us in first on uh, the uh, reaction before we talk about the game. How everyone received this big boost and big win from the Nigerian team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Suleiman, there's still a lot of gyration happening at the Stanley Fair here in Boake because the Super Eagles are actually true to the finals. They said, let's do it again. And that mantra has actually shone through and through. AB, you could testify, where Neville's Rec Stadium, when the referee decided 120 minutes was up, it was time for penalties. We know South Africa had actually won a penalty in this AFCON. As a matter of fact, their goalkeeper stopped four penalties the last time out. How did you feel? Well, I think first of all, <laughs> congratulations to Nigeria and Nigerians. Uh, this is the first time Nigeria is qualifying for the AFCON for the first AFCON final, final, final since 2013. 13, yes. When the mantra came out, so many did not believe. I think this actually spoiled the Super Eagles. The fans are ecstatic, obviously. I think in the first half, it seems they were losing focus. It seems they were not in touch with the game. Something was completely second, off. Yes. Was completely in the second off. half, it was a different ball. Entire. True, true. So, like I always say, the coach reads the game now better. He brought in the rightful substitutions that changed the game. Some mm. might say Al Hassan Yusuf was overzealous with his touches and with his tackles that actually cost the penalty. But when he came in and Chukwese came in, we could see the speed, all the action. We also saw Ian. Ian Acho, the clamor for him, he came in and more. I think they changed the game. Ian Acho went on to score the winning goal that sent Nigeria, the winning penalty that sent Nigeria to the final for the first time since 2013. I think the Super Eagles have been the best team in the AFCON this tournament. Um, I must actually say it's uh, a plethora of high profile guests actually came in from Nigeria, the governor, I, I saw the governor of Bayasa State, saw the governor of Ogun State, Dakwa Biadun, and also the vice president, according to the reports, because I saw his aides and the rest of them, but, and they said the vice president was also present to watch the Super Eagles literally step into the light. As it stands right now, the Super Eagles know it is 90 minutes or 120 minutes that separates them and glory. They fought hard for this. They've taken quite a lot of beating before the tournament. They've proved their metal here in Ivory Coast. And right now, they are taking their rightful place as kings of African football. The Super Eagles are the biggest brand, without a doubt, when it comes to African football. We've been out of the cold for too long. And finally, this team is taking its rightful place among some of the greatest teams when it comes to African football. And on Sunday, we'll be there live in Bimpe in Abidjan for the Super Eagles. Who would they be playing? We'll have to wait and see because Ivory Coast, AB, as we're Congo. speaking, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, it's 23 minutes old. Ivory Coast and DR Congo are and set to battle for a place to take on the Super Eagles. I must tell you, I'm ecstatic. They left it late. They went through the hard way. Stanley Wabali must be commended. He, he won the man of the match. Saved penalties. Mm -hmm. And I must oh say, kudos to him. He has had a masterful game. Without even playing in the finals, I think he has already won he the goalkeeper of the tournament. Absolutely. Definitely, you I can think Stanley Wabali has Guys, been the revelation of the tournament, not just for Nigeria. They can't. Apart. All right, maybe. And uh, Aaron, we're as excited as you are. I mean, you can imagine how electric the atmosphere has been right here in the newsroom. And I'm still cheering uh, to that with an amazing cup of tea here. All right, let's uh, get the excitement, the feel right here in Abuja. And we'll come back uh, to discuss even more. The match of today yes. is a message to Nigeria. Oh, yes. Why do we hate ourselves? <laughs> Why do we hate ourselves in Nigeria? Yes. Why are we not tonight? 
across the world. Why don't we love ourselves? Can you see how we all felt the pain when that this that took place? But now we are jubilating together. This is a message for Nigerians to love themselves. Let us stop discrimination. Let us stop hating ourselves. All right, okay. Oh, uh, 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 Abia and Aaron, I just wish uh, you could see the pictures here from Abuja. Mm -hmm. It's something uh, that uh, you all will be very proud of. Uh, uh, and uh, Aaron and uh, Abi, uh, let me ask both of you the same question. Uh, the slogan that Nigerians coined for 2024, no grief for anybody, mm -hmm. uh, does it have anything to do with what we're witnessing now? Because we thought we were uh, down and out. <laughs> Yeah, Suleiman, Suleiman, uh, the Nigerians have the slogan, no grief for anybody, but the players have the slogan, we die here. When they're going on the pitch, they always say that this is what we are going to do. They are not going to let anybody take over. I think that's what we saw. In the first half, like we said, Aaron, it's a looking bland, but in the second half, it looks like they, they got themselves back, knowing that, no, we have to do this for the country. We have to get this most needed victory. We have to make everyone who came into the stadium to support, to cheer, because if you look at it, you can see a lot of Ivorians in the stadium during the game, and they were Probably cheering for South Africa because you see that any time South Africa got the ball or they even scored their penalty, you lay a lot of chairs. But I think Nigerians, I goes, they have caught themselves, caught themselves back, and we are seeing what we used to see in the past when the Super Eagles used to be the Super Eagles of Nigeria. I think Suleiman, I will not, I can't agree more with AB. The truth is this: that no grief for anybody. These players have taken it to a different level because the level of resilience. The ability to be able to dig deep. Mm -hmm. Today's game was very scrappy. Today's game was a little bit all over the place. This was not the vintage performance we've come to we've yeah, come to see to, yeah. and also accustomed to at this AFCON 2023. But the truth is this: what makes you a great team is the fact that when you are not even playing well, you still find a way to win. That's the hallmark of all great teams that I know of. So it's not about what happened today within within the 90 minutes and the 120 minutes, but certainly the coaches and the backroom staff will be doing a lot of overview. But the fact that the players knew when push comes to show, we will do it. And I'm going to tell you, the South Africans were very, very bullish going into the penalties. But trust me, the Super Eagles have shown that we are even better when it comes to penalties and we will have a better goalkeeper who knows South African football, who has played in South Africa, who still plays in South Africa yeah. and has decided to play against South Africa. The South Africans might not like us. It's because we always rob them. We always rob our victory in their noses. When it comes to the Nations Cup, they would always lose. When it comes to a game of 90 minutes or 120 minutes, regardless, they know this. It's a fact. And today, it has just, it has just cemented that fact that right. Afghan, mm. South Africa, Nigeria, there is only one winner. And it's the Spurs <laughs> right. of Nigeria. Guys... Ah, congratulations are uh, very much in order. <laughs> uh, indeed, we know we agree, and we have proven it uh, tonight. Aaron and Abby, you do have a flight to catch back uh, home uh, to a heroic welcome. <laughs>